Moon. The side of the moon we look at is always the same. It has a giant gray spot which is called by many names, most famous one being Sea of Tranquility. We see only one side of the moon because when we don't see the moon, that is when the sun is shining towards its side, we don't see. That other side of the moon remained the mystery. Not much was known about it until a Soviet probe, Luna 3, in 1959 was launched to observe it, which it successfully did. As we can see, the other side of the moon is much different, and it looks very similar to the planet Mercury. Very grey appearance, with craters on the surface. Although Mercury is bigger, 4800 kilometers in diameter, and moon has 3400 kilometers in diameter, which is surface-wise smaller than Asia by 6 million kilometers square, and Mercury is surface-wise bigger than Asia by 20 million kilometers square. So size-wise they are not that similar, but not that bad either. So then why are they so similar looking? Well, the grey appearance is given by whatever metal oxide it is, which consists almost 100% of the surface, and as we know, most metals are of the color grey. What about craters? There are not many visible craters on Earth because of the geologic activity. Surface moves and craters vanish. Earth, 200 million years ago, only had one continent, called Pangaea, and after the geologic activity, it looks like this. So yeah, geologic activity on Moon and Mercury doesn't happen, and craters can't vanish. That's why there are so many craters. Moon and Mercury are inactive objects. Also because they have no atmosphere, atmosphere usually would slightly change the color of the surface to the brighter color. They don't have an atmosphere, so they have a similar shade of grey. And that is why Moon and Mercury look alike.